I'm Rich Jones, and today I'm driving a Zamboni. Hey Hollywood, enough of the showdown. It's time you learn how to drive this thing. Yeah, I could probably use a little help. Hey, thanks for helping me out today. Glad to help you yeah. out. Yeah, today we're here at Essential Health Sports Center. My name is Rich Jones and you're with Around the Town with Randall State Bank. I'm here with um, Henry from Essential Health Sports Center who is the arena manager. And Henry, I know you've been telling me for a while that you're gonna teach me how to drive this Zamboni. So today, I guess we're gonna do it, huh? You know, and, and Rich, glad to have you here. The Zamboni is full of water, ready to go. We've got a dirty sheet of ice that needs to be cleaned. No better time. Yeah, there's no backing out now, huh? Nope. All right. Well, let's, let's, let's do this thing, huh? Let's do it. All right. Well, I guess you tell me what you want me to do here and we'll uh, go. You're gonna start this thing, right? You're gonna get going? I'll take care of it. Right now, the, again, we've, we've got it full of water. Uh, basically, I'll just have you stand right here on what okay. we call the conditioner. You can hold on to that handle. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna look like the garbage man's hanging off the side, right? Appropriately, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> so now, we're just gonna, we're gonna drop it, get it in gear, and get it going. And All right. uh, we can talk you through it as we're cleaning the ice. Sounds good, let's do it. Let's make some ice. All right, so Zambonis, huh? Zambonis, uh, officially called ice resurfacers. Basically, we're just going to take a dirty sheet, and we're going to shave it down a little bit, fill in some of the cuts, and put a nice flood water over the back side of it to make it look brand new again. All Clean right, it let's, up. let's see how this thing works, Henry. So, so is this thing electric? This one is electric, and most most Zambonis are uh, electric nowadays because of the, the air uh, quality controls in the state of Minnesota. Most Zambonis are electric. There are a few places that have propane. We use the uh, Zamboni 552 electric here at the Essentia Health Sports Center. All right. So, you know, as we're going here, Henry, I want to ask you some questions just because, I, quite honestly, I, I'm, I'm curious. You know, so. Um, you know, as we're, as we're getting ready to get close to the boards here, and I, I'm assuming you're going to uh, lay this machine that I'm on down, uh, you know, tell me a little bit, what, what does it do? How, do? how do you actually cut the ice, as people say? Well, in this conditioner, as you're standing on that, we're dropping down, is an auger, a blade, and we've got water attached to it. Okay. So right now, we're laying water in front of the blade, Blade comes down, shaving ice. It goes into an or, a horizontal auger that's in that conditioner that you're standing on. Right. The auger brings snow to the middle. There's some blades under there that bring the snow to the vertical auger, which is this unit right here. Sure, sure. That brings it up, and then it throws it into the bucket and that's where it stays until we empty the bucket in the uh, Zamboni room. Yeah, because I think a lot of misconceptions with cutting ice is that you're just putting down new water. I don't think a lot of people realize how little ice there actually is out here. So can you tell me a little bit about that? Right. And as you can see right now, I'm not. I'm doing a dry shave on the outside. That doesn't mean anything right now, but primarily. All we're really doing is we're going to put water in front of the blade. 
That's going to take the existing snow, kind of blend it into the cracks a little bit. That blade's going to come behind, shave it down a little bit, and then the flood water that comes along the backside is going to seal everything in and make it look pretty. So if you uh, if you had this sheet of ice out on a lake, would you drive a truck on it? Absolutely not. Pete. How much ice is out here, actually? Most ice arenas, depending on the situation, we personally here, we like to have about an inch and a half at most in the center of the of the rink. And then towards the outside, towards the boards, we're at about an inch and a quarter. Okay. Uh, we like to have our ice crowning in the middle. And then we like to have everything on the outside nice and even. So we don't have our ice at different depths around the rink. So sure. about once a week, we come out, we drill holes, and we measure the depth of the ice to make sure that we're in good shape. Okay. So what about, uh, you know, it's obviously got a uh, white tint to the, the ice. Why is there a white tint? When you build a sheet of ice, you lay a, a coat of water down, and then we actually paint it white. Okay. After that, we put more water down over it to seal it in. After we build that up a little bit, we put the lines in, we put the gold creases in, any logos that have to go in, and then we slow build the ice up to about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half, depending on where we're at. Yeah, how long does that take? It takes, depending on how many people you have, us here, because we only have a couple people that do it, it takes us about, we can get it done within uh, six to eight days. Okay, all right. And what, uh, what do you keep the ice at? So obviously, I you know it's gotta be below freezing, right? But. Uh, what temperature do you like to keep the ice at? What's the optimal temperature to keep ice at? Our return loop, which is our cooling agent, we like to keep the loop at about, depending on who's using it. Here, we like fast ice. So we try to keep it anywhere from 17 to 19. Uh, once you start getting into the 20s, the ice gets a little bit softer, a little bit slower. Uh, the figure skaters like it a little bit softer, but for hockey purpose, we want fast ice. Yeah, yeah. So now, obviously, you've done this for a while. Yes. Uh, you're pretty comfortable at it. It looks like you you know what all the levers do. You, you, you seem pretty happy slamming that thing down a little bit every once in a while. What, what does all this stuff do? What is it? Uh... So primarily, these two knobs here control your water. OK. Uh, the one that I have my hand on is the flood water. OK. <laughs> This one here is the wash water. This is the one that's in front of the blade. This is your flood water, which we're laying down behind. This here, we call it the icebreaker. And what that does is that the, whole, the horizontal auger brings the snow to the middle. Sometimes it gets packed up. So we've got to break it up so that those arms can scoop it up into the vertical auger to get it into the bucket. Otherwise, it's like a blender when the ice gets too thick in there and you can't spin it up anymore. It'll just stop. Yeah, and okay. These augers will freeze up as strong as they are. Sure. If there's too much snow in there, it'll yeah. freeze up. Now, I noticed when you went down in the corner, you turned that uh, lever there. What, we did. What's the deal there? So, when we get to the end, there's a couple different things that we can do. Right now, we're not shaving a lot. So, I'm not going to sit and play with the blade today. Yep. But once we get to the end of the rink, we've already got our water laid down. Yep. So if every time I go over the same area that I'm laying more water, we're gonna end up with a bowl eventually. Right. So it's important for Zamboni drivers, when they slow down to back off on the water so that you can keep your ice consistent. So as we get to the end here, once the conditioner gets to the end, I'm going to shut the water off because we don't need any more water here. Sure. Well, how long does it teach you to take you to teach somebody actually how to do this? We, it depends on the individual. We like to uh, get about 20, 30 floods in with an individual before I feel comfortable with them do it themselves. Sure, sure. <coughs> okay. Well, that makes sense. I mean, there's a lot of things going on here. Obviously, we're getting into hockey season. 
and uh, so the Zambonis are going to get used a lot, not just here, but all over. And uh, I thought it'd be kind of cool to come by and have somebody who knew a little bit of something about it tell all the folks uh, how it works and, and why we do what we do at the rink. And uh, you know, as you're watching games, to know a little bit about how it all works. So uh, this has been great. I appreciate the uh, the time today and telling us about how this all works. And uh, you know, just thank you and. Uh, you know, now I'm, I'm educated as well, which is always uh, a good thing, so I appreciate that. Well, we're glad to have you guys any time, and honestly, Rick, it's time that you drive this thing. <laughs> so what I'm going to do here, Rick, is uh, I'm going to finish this. We're going to drive it off, and you're going to finish these last loops. And I'll walk you through it. Don't be afraid. Those two levers that I shut off are the controls for the augers. Okay. Watch your head. All right, so here we go, huh? So I guess I'm getting in the driver's seat on this thing today. It's that time, Rich. Okay, well, so here we are uh, in the driver's seat, so. Right now, what you got is ignition. Okay. There's your throttle for forward and backwards. Okay. Emergency brake off. Okay. So let's get it on the ice and then we'll go from there. All right, so we're gonna turn it on. Yep. Okay. And for the record, we didn't talk about it, but this here is the wheel. This controls the angle of the blade, which will dictate how much ice you can shave up. Sure. And like I said before, we're not taking a lot up, so we're gonna leave this alone today. Okay, all right. Um, when other people are driving it, when I'm driving it and I'm shaving, when I get to the end, same time that I turn the water off and on, I'll be raising the blade and lowering the blade because we don't wanna shave the same spot multiple times. Multiple times. Sure, no, that makes sense. So right now, we're just gonna do water today, All Rich. right, so I'm gonna just put this back yep. like this. Emergency brake off. Okay. Now, I know you might be right-handed, Left hand. Left hand on the on the. Because your right hand's gonna control your water. Okay. Oh, sure. I guess that makes sense. So now we got this nice and easy back yep. out here. You, you can start turning it just ever so slight. I feel like we're not gonna make it out, Henry. You're gonna be just fine. Okay. I'll take her straight out if you want. You just Got go straight back. Yep, plenty okay. of room. That, plenty thro of room. that throttle is a little bit uh, touchy. Not gonna lie. This one here is uh, it's kind of an odd spot for a door. Yeah. But it's the one we got to deal with. So it's what it's, you got to play the cards you were dealt. Got to play the cards we were dealt. All right. right so now we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go over and start uh, cutting on that side over there. Then, huh? That's right. That so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in forward. Okay. And as soon as we do that and we get some momentum going. We're going to drop the conditioner. Okay. okay. So this lever here, pulling it back. Okay. All the way until yep. it won't go any further. Okay. That's going to drop the conditioners. Okay. You're going to flip both of these switches back. Okay. Hold your augers. Okay. And then you're going to control your water. Okay. So we're going to, I'm not going to do that though until we kind of get over here to the other side, as right? As soon as you get the conditioner down, turn the augers on because you're going to start shaving right away. Okay. So, so See, I need to... right here, we just knocked some snow out of the auger, but we can pick that up later. Okay. So you can move a little bit faster, crank that wheel all the way, all the way. There's no shallow turns here. No shallow so turns. So the one thing you're going to need to think about, so go ahead and drop the conditioner up oh, back. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep pulling back. Okay. There you go, augers, both Forward. of them, back, water, all right. Okay. So, so now we're moving. So we're moving. So here's the thing you got to consider. Come this way. More. Well, you can look behind you and see you're covering it. Yep. So worst case scenario, overlap this way a little Just bit. Come, come over a little bit. So that's Good. like the tricky part is seeing it, right? Yes. So when we get, here's the rule of thumb for us here. When your front tires hit that goal line, come this way, Rich. Keep coming. Okay. I'm gonna wanna turn the water off, right? You're gonna wanna start turning hard when those front tires get there and the water off. Okay. 
Because now I gotta How? come. I gotta come to the inside. No, outside. Oh, outside. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Cut it hard. Cut it hard. Water on. Give her some gas. There you go. All right. Is this about the right speed or more? What? Whatever you're comfortable with. If you go too fast, depending on your ice, a Zamboni will jump around a little bit. It'll chatter. And you don't want that. We don't want that. We want good smooth ice here. Right. So I'm actually going to come through. Do you want me to come pick up this ice that we dropped? That's up to you. If you want to go pick that up, we can come around. That way it doesn't get on there for too long. Do I need to do this thing now? Not yet. Uh, water off. Water off. Now inside. Okay, no, out. You're always outside, gonna go out. out. Always outside. Hard turn. Water, water on. on. And then gas. Now, missed a little bit, no big deal. Can always make another lap. Yep. So. You know, it's not as easy as somebody would think to do this, is it? No, and you can wreck ice quickly with a bad flood if your blade, if you're not paying attention to your blade. Right. Um, there's, there's a lot of ways to make ice poorly. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I'll be honest with you. You guys make it look a lot easier than it actually is. Turn, water. The reason why I use the front wheels as your indicator, water on, Oh, you kind of, if you cut it too hard, it's like being in a car in a, uh, on an icy road. And the reality is, is that these tires, Rich, they have spikes in them. So if you do the slide, you're actually cutting up your ice, and that's not good for ice. I see. We kind of got a little hodgepodge going here. We got to... Yeah, we could fix that. Should I just do straight, and then we can catch it on the next lap? You can get it, yep. Okay. So, we haven't done the icebreaker yet. But the rule of thumb is, after you get out of this turn. Water on, quicker. The reason why when your front tires hit the red line coming back up, it takes a, just a brief second for that water to come back. Sure. So you want to hit it before the fact. I see, so you want to, you want to get it before you get back? Yep. So what I tell my guys is every time you cross the red line, break the ice. Okay. Which otherwise noticed, this can get clogged up. Yeah. What I've noticed about this is that I uh it's like being a drummer. Yeah. You kind of have to be able to do multiple things at the same time. And it's not quite as easy as uh as it seems. I mean, look at the look at the patches I've missed. I mean, that's uh that's special right there. Well, more importantly, there's, when you have situations, depending on how bad the ice is, you right. might go slower, you might cut more ice. Uh, if the ice wasn't beat up, you take less ice, obviously, you can go a little faster and you're laying water. Right. You base uh, how much water you're laying. Right. On maybe the temperature in the building. Right. So if it's, if it's too hot in the building, obviously we can't lay yeah. a lot of water or it won't set up. Yeah. So we got this patch here that looks like I was uh, not paying attention at all when I was doing it. You're doing very good. It's actually, uh, it, it doesn't, I see how it can get done quicker, but if I'm out here by myself, I'm probably a lot more nervous than I am right now. Yep, and right now, you see how you're coming in a little hot? Yep. What you'll see is, don't hit the brakes. Nope, just yep. take off the gas. If you take off, let off the gas, let the blade slow you down. Yep. Some uh, some new drivers will get nervous. They'll hit the brake, and just like in winter driving, if you hit the brake, you're going to slide right into the board. Sure. It's just like driving a golf cart, which oh yeah, and, just and like you that. You know, I'm very good at. Uh, so. Hey, we all have our skills, Rich. I know, right? So I'm going to hit this last little patch and then hang a left, right? No. No, I gotta go around again? I'm gonna make you clean up your mess. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're doing, huh? And now, you heard that noise? Yep. That means the uh, auger's getting a little bit bound up. Hit the hammer. Keep, your, keep the Zamboni moving, there you go. Water. 
Zayden, now can I cut over and yep. get that little patch there? You're fine, though? you're fine. Go ahead and cut um, over, pick that up. We'll come back and pick up that sliver and then we'll go off the ice. So I'll come back around and pick that one up? Primarily, the amount of water you're laying isn't the issue. Yeah. When it's cold out, your challenges come when you take too much ice off. When you skim too much, sure. So right now, you're gonna lay, you know, you might lay a sixteenth of an inch. Right. It's nothing. So you can lay water, a couple extra odd passes. Right. You're not gonna hurt the ice. Right. Can now, I... when we get done, if you had a full bucket of snow, yeah, that'd be different. Can I come in this way on this, or do I need to come I would around? come around, Rich, okay. pick it up, and then in center ice, we can turn around and go off the ice. Okay. You're doing so, a great job. So I forgot, I keep forgetting at the red line, I need to do this guy. Get that so it doesn't make the blunder noise. You're gonna need to go over that way more in order to make that turn. You can back off the water right now, just not off, just like a trickle so that it's keeping the ice wet. Sure, sure. Keep it hard, hard. We there? Get it? Go straight up the ice to the red line. Is that good for water then? No, nope, there's nothing coming out. So you can look over your shoulder and see the water coming out. About Just want to keep the towel wet here. That's all we're trying to do. Okay. So now you can turn and go off. Now on this here, Follow almost your last pass here. Yep. Sliding around, drifting, drifting. <laughs> okay. Basically take the center of the Zamboni towards the corner of the wall on that door. You're good right there. Go straight now, go straight. Now, auger's off, both of them. There you go. Now. Water you just off. gotta watch the conditioner on your left side. Water off. Make sure you don't hook the, yeah, turn the water off. Now look down, see the conditioner on your left, on your left, down on the left. Yep, yep. Okay, so now, now right there, stop, pick the conditioner off the ice, forward. Yep, keep, nope, there you go. Now, okay. hard, cut it hard. Go ahead now. Am I gonna make her? Yep, you got it, you're fine over here. So take it in and then you see the yellow lines is where you're gonna stop. Okay, I'll straighten it out. A little bit harder my way. So the yellow lines, I'm gonna stop with the tires or with the? Tires. There you go. Right well there. done, Rich. Okay, now. Bruce. Now we gotta scrape the snow off that you, you pulled up. Okay. You wanna do that? Do I wanna do that? No, that sounds silly, Henry. You want me to do this? <laughs> I'll do it. No, I'll get it. That's part of the job, right? It's part of the job. Although I don't know in these dress shoes if that's the right thing to do. Actually, uh, the more, see, and this is just right now a, 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 a situation where you, you came in slow, so you got a lot of water there. It right. normally doesn't happen. So it, would you scrape some of this water off then? You, you could if you wanted to, but we'll get it on the next flood. So you'll just cut it a little bit thicker. Yeah, than exactly. Next time, huh? Exactly. All right. So the most important thing is to get it off the sheet, which is what you're doing. Right. There's a drain underneath the conditioner as it sits right now. Yep. So that ice that you're scooping in there will melt and drain right into the pit. Perfect. Well, Henry, I cannot thank you enough for giving me an opportunity to uh, to drive the Zamboni today. Well, I'm glad to have you, Rich. Now, uh, you know, if Ooh. we ever get into a, a, a grind or we get know, into a pinch and I need someone to clean a sheet of ice, I know who to call. That's part of the problem. <laughs> Thanks a lot, appreciate it. Thank you, it. Rich, glad to have you. I'll finish this up for you.